Hello, Wonderland. Today, I'm pretty sure this will be a short video, I promise. I've said that before and then not. And uh, yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, today I was expecting a rainy day and the rain has been holding off so far, so it might rain later, but while I had the chance, I thought I would get out to the James River Parks, of course. I am at Pump House Park, which the centerpiece is this magnificent edifice that I'm walking alongside right now, which, uh, as the name implies, was the old pump house for water treatment in the area, pretty sure. And it also served as kind of a gathering place um, up on one of the, the, the higher floor. There's kind of a ballroom space. Um, so that was a, a social focal point back in the day. And I think they're trying to restore it, actually, which would be cool. I'm down with that. But anyway, I came out today to try my new drone, which I'll tell you all about <laughs> in a minute. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give a little intro, a little set the scene type thing here. I like this place. I like all the James River Parks, but uh, this one's cool because it combines history with nature, which is my favorite. And there's actually, further down the trail where I'm going, there's a part of a canal which was built um, at the behest of George Washington before he was president. Part of his idea uh, to build a whole canal system before railroads were a thing for transporting cargo and goods along the eastern seaboard. So we'll take a look at that too. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll keep roaming a little bit, show you some more as we go. Okay. <laughs> so you can see up here, that second level was the social gathering area. So yeah, that would be sweet if they restore that. And over there is more of a, a more modern facility. Not a whole lot more modern. <laughs> So behind me there, I believe that's what's known as Washington's Arch, which was the beginning of the Kanawha Canal, which was supposed to run from here all the way to West Virginia. And that was built in 1791, I believe. So yeah, history. It's a nice spot. So far, I've got the place mostly to myself. I've seen a couple other walkers, but not many. There's a lot of trails that run through here. Yeah, it's a nice spot. I love all these parks. Richmond is cool. <laughs> okay, on to my actual intended destination, where I'll tell you about my new drone and show you some stuff. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Actually, I was wrong. Look at this, if you can see it. This down here is actually Washington's Arch. Kind of buried in the foliage down there, but uh, hopefully you can see something. Yeah, still cool. <laughs> yeah, this part of the trail is a bit more unofficial and rough because it involves crossing the railroad tracks to get over here which I'm gonna pretend is okay, <laughs> but it's worth it. Stay tuned, I'll show you why. Though I've been here before, okay. <laughs> no kid, I've arrived. 
The trail was really overgrown. I think the last time I was here, it was certainly not midsummer. And not many people must come through here, which is nice. It's okay. So anyway, this is why we're here. My new toy, DJI Mini 3 Pro. So I had started out with the Mini 2, which I still have. I'm gonna keep that one as kind of my backup. Um, and I got the Air 2S, but the Air 2S, it was just too big and loud. I like to be sneaky <laughs> when I'm droning, and the Air 2S was just too, too noisy. Um, didn't hide well enough for my taste. And there were some design choices about it that I didn't like. I didn't like the battery charger. It was like a strip that the battery is attached to instead of a kind of more of a carrying case like the Mini 2 and the Mini 3 have. I haven't got that yet for the Mini 3. That hasn't come out yet, at least where I can get it, but um, I will. <laughs> so I've only got one battery right now. I'll be limited on my flight time today, but still, this is where we are. Get up here. <clears throat> this is the Richmond. ACL Bridge, or the CSX A-Line, if you like, the modern nomenclature. Um, and yeah, I've filmed here before with my last drone, the Mini 2, actually. Um, but I thought I'd come back. I've been meaning to come back. And I thought I'd give the Mini 3 a try. So why I upgraded, why the Mini 3 caught my attention. Probably the biggest thing is the new remote controller, which is this guy. has a screen built in so you don't have to use your phone or a tablet as the screen, and I like that. Um, it has more obstacle avoidance. The Mini 2 had none, basically, so this one has front, down, and I think up, but not side to side, which is not too bad. Um, it's got a better camera than the Mini 2. This one actually goes up to 48 megapixels for still images, which is even more than my R5, so that's what I want to try out here today, mostly. Um, what else, what else? It's got active tracking, which the Mini 2 didn't have, so it can actually follow subjects. Um, and just general, you know, in performance improvements. Um, battery has a longer flight time, and when I get the Flymore Plus kit, those batteries have an even higher flight time, which would be great. Um, so yeah, that's why I got it. Now I need to try it out. I tried it out at home yesterday. I got it on Friday. Yesterday, yeah. Or Thursday. Anyway, <laughs> I've tried it once at home so far, so I wanted to get it out in the field a bit and see what I can do. So that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned. <laughs>
She did pretty good. And it's pretty quiet, even compared to the Mini 2. The remote's beeping at me because the battery's low. But I think I got some good stuff, hopefully. I'll show you what's what. Okay, bring her in for a landing. <laughs> Alright, packed up, ready to go. So I'll say goodbye. Until next time, take care of yourself. Don't forget to be awesome. Get out and wander. Later.